on a microscopic scale, uh, Einstein's theory doesn't work. So actually, there is no answer to your question because we don't yet know the answer. So very massive stars have enormous amounts of light, and although they are more massive than the sun, not that much more massive. So they can have mass to light ratios that are fraction. Now, Mark, I know you're quite shy about watching these videos, and you don't normally watch them back, but I have made you aware of the fact that lots of people have been asking about your atlas of creation there, and there's been lots of talk on the YouTube discussion boards. Well, I think, I mean, actually, the first thing to say about it is absolutely beautiful. The pictures in it are absolutely gorgeous. Um, the editorial message, however, is not so gorgeous as, as far as I'm concerned as an astronomer. Uh, I mean, it's basically, it's a, it's a creationist text. Um, it's somewhat unusual because it's a Muslim creationist text, but it's a creationist text. So there's a couple of reasons why it's on my shelf. Firstly, because it is a beautiful book and it's got absolutely gorgeous images in it. Um, but secondly, just because, just because I don't agree with something is no reason to take it off the bookshelf as far as I'm concerned. In fact, it's probably more reason to have it on the bookshelf because things that I agree with, you know, I probably actually know quite a lot about them already. Things that I disagree with, you know, if I'm going to argue effectively against creationism, it's rather important that I have some understanding about what the creationists are actually saying. Um, and so in that sense, it's probably more important to have that book on the bookshelf than many of the other books. Did you go out and buy that book? No, it actually arrived unsolicited in the post.